So, um, this video is going to cover uh, types of masks and why we use masks for actor training, okay? So, um, the reason why masks are really good for actor training is emotions are not just in our heads or in our hearts, they're in our whole body, all right? Your entire body helps your emotional state. Um, when you're scared, uh, you t they talk about fight or flight with animals, and we're animals, so when we get scared we might flight, tighten up, we might get tense. All that tension affects our brains, all that tension in our body affects uh, how we feel. Our heart rate gets up, our blood starts pumping, all of those things. It's not just our brain gets scared by something, it's our whole body feeds that. Um, and we know that to be true because in our brains, um, we have what's called neural pathways, and neural pathways in our brains, um, uh, when we feel something, we have various neural pathways for how we feel. And so, mask uh, helps us understand some of those neural pathways. Mask helps us understand how we talk with our bodies. If you're watching me, I talk with my hands a lot. Um, and now I'm aware that I talk with my hands a lot. But uh, the reason why they call it body language is because your body is actually talking. Your body is giving signals uh, to the people that you're talking to, not just the things that you're saying. Um, so, and, and our feelings get expressed through our bodies. Now, when actors go on stage, sometimes they might feel um, bound up or they, they might feel like uh, uh, they're afraid to, to, to be open like this. And so they might just do nothing with their bodies and their hands hang by their sides. Have you ever worked on a monologue and wondered, what do I do with my hands? What, what should I, and I've, I've heard actors ask me that question all the time, what should I do with my hands? And I always tell them, <laughs> do it real like a person. Um, so mask kind of helps us give ourselves permission to allow our bodies to be that open and communicative even though we're on stage and doing it in front of a whole bunch of people. Uh, the other thing is that anything that we put on ourselves on the outside that makes us feel something, that's mask. So uh, if you think about it, wearing a tie has to, uh, the, the collar gets buttoned, it kind of pulls you in and makes you a little tight and bound across the chest. Um, it makes you lengthen through the back of your neck. Uh, if you wear a suit jacket, uh, that also makes you lengthen through the back of the neck. Women, when you wear, wear high heels, the reason why you feel special uh, or high status uh, in high heels is because of the way it makes you carry your body. Um, it, it, to walk in high heels, you have to lengthen the back of the neck. You have to lead uh, through the upper part of your body. And all of this is a high status posture. All right? So anything that you put on and makes you feel something, that's also a mask. Um, so for instance, uh, if uh, to, to make a mask live, okay, you have to support it with your body, all right? Um, I'm just going to kind of relax so that I can put the mask on and go into the mask. You have to support it with your body. If you don't support it with your body, the mask doesn't live. So uh, I could put this mask on and just have it on and it would look interesting, but what happens when I don't do anything with it, with my body? Boring! All right, I just have my normal sort of posture on in this mask. Uh, let, me, let me put the mask on and I'll, I'll uphold it with my body. I'll use my body to support the mask and what I think its physical emotions are. It's a whole lot different. I lengthen through the back of the neck, I look out of the tops of my eyes. It's a much more aggressive mask. Um, this mask it's a much more passive mask, all right? So I'm gonna put it on, I'm not gonna do anything with my body, and then I'm going to do something with my body to uphold the mask, to let the uh, emotional state of my body support the emotional state of the mask. Boring! So the emotional state of the mask is, if, if you look at the, the mask itself, it's pinched here, it's really constrained, there's a lot of tension in here, so I'm trying to bring all that tension into my body. 
right? Bringing all that tension into my body makes me feel tense. Um, it also helps you, the viewer, understand what's happening with the character. Now, masks are much larger than life. They ask you to be bigger, all right? In life, we're not this big, although sometimes we are. Um, so, actor training, mask is used for actor training in this way. So, um, there's uh, a couple of different uh, types of masks. So, what we've been looking at so far are full face masks. These are masks that cover your, duh, full face. There's a whole bunch of masks over here. Um, there are masks that are half masks. Uh, in the history section, talking about Commedia dell'arte. Commedia dell'arte uh, used half masks because the characters needed to speak. Uh, here's, a, here's a very old uh, Arlecchino Commedia dell'arte mask made by my first mask teacher, Do Di Joe Diefenbacher of Nacopelli Masks and Puppets. So. <laughs> that allows me to talk, it allows me to have dialogue. Uh, here's another one. There's my dog barking upstairs. Um, uh, another version of half masks that I've been playing with are masks that are the bottom of your face. So. There's another one that's a half mask for the bottom of your face. This actually got sculpted. Uh, uh, I was teaching a mask making class at the Kalamazoo Institute of the Arts, and this mask uh, was the guy who taught the wood fowl carving class. So, um, I've even made a three quarter mask. This was for a show I did called On the Verge. Um, so, you can also take masks and wear them on uh, different parts of the body so to, 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 to make them live or come alive. Here, I'll use this one. Um, so I'm going to put this mask on top of my head. So you can wear masks on top of the head to make them come alive. Um, uh, and uh, in the history section, I talked a little bit about Mummenschanz. Mummenschanz had giant body masks like this. This is a giant 25 foot piece of air conditioning duct that I performed in uh, in my uh, mask show box head uh, and I because I wanted to show a huge body this is a, and it was this giant um, worm like creature that kept trying to sit in a chair and the chair kept moving away from it so mask mask for actor training you can use masks to help you learn how to communicate through your body language better to be comfortable in your body communicating through body language that you might not be comfortable in. Uh, and masks come in all different shapes and sizes. We have full face masks, we have half masks, we can wear full face masks on different parts of the body, and we even have giant body masks that allow us to inhabit the character fully. So, we're gonna go on to the next section. See you in a minute.